The following is a class on Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 2, Text Number 24, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on 4th November, 1972, in Vrindavan. Translation Coal, firewood, is better than raw wood, and fire is even better, for fire is the soul of Vedic sacrifice. Similarly, passion or rajas is better than ignorance or tamas, but goodness, sattva, is best, because by goodness one can come to realize the absolute truth, or Brahman. Parthipad dharuno dhumas tasmad agni straimaya Tamasastu rajas tasma sattam jag brahmadas. This is gradual process of evolution. Parthivad dharuna. Uh, just like raw wood, then when it is dry, then it is fit uh, for igniting fire. <laughs> then uh, when you ignite fire first there is smoke and after it is mature the flames come out and Agni Srima when the flame is there just like we generally perform fire sacrifice unless the flame comes we do not chant the mantra or pour the ghee and the grains, because that is the uh, beginning of Jagga. Sri Maya. Sri means Vedic Jaggas. So our point is to come to the, the platform of performing Jagga. Uh, Jagga means uh, Vishnu. The platform of satisfying Vishnu. This is the perfection of life. Dull, dull brain, uh, ignorance, just like animals. They are in the tomogo, ignorance. They cannot understand anything. So, gradually, they are uh, <clears throat> promoted to the human form of life. Rajogon, generally human form of life, Rajogon activity for creation. Uh, we can very well see animals, cats, dogs, cows, asses, and a uh, little civilized engaged in sense gratification in a different way, very active uh, passion. So these two stages of life will not help us because our aim is to come to the point of Brahma Darsana, self realization. Aham Brahmasmi. To remain karmis or remain animal like life, no knowledge, simply eating, sleeping, mating, that's all. Uh, and little advancement means the same eating, sleeping, mating, but in a polished way. Uh, mostly, uh, we find in the Western countries, the uh, aim is animal propensities, but in a polished way. Uh, suppose they live in very, very high skyscraper buildings, and the animals live in some cave, in some hole, in some nest. Uh, so, 
for living condition improving the living condition does not mean brahma darshanam brahma darshan is another that uh, improving the living condition improving the eating condition improving the sex life condition uh, or improving the defending condition just like human uh, civilization they are discovering so many lethal weapons atomic bomb so many things so it is improving the defending condition uh, but modern civilization uh, is in the opinion that if they can improve their material condition of eating sleeping mating and defending that is advancement of civilization but that is not advancement of civilization advancement of civilization means brahma darshana that is it because so long we do not come to the platform of understanding that i am spirit soul i am part and parcel of the supreme spirit uh, we are in the ignorance in different forms uh, the example is given very nicely just like raw wood just from the trees you cut the trees it is raw it is not immediately fit for burning but when it is little dry you can ignite fire and igniting fire immediately there is no flame there is smoke then after the smoke there is flame and that flame is required so this gradual process of evolution means one must come to the platform of understanding brahm ah uh, aham brahmasmi i am i am spirit soul and i am part and parcel of the supreme soul this understanding one must come so for that understanding one has to come to the platform of goodness satgun if one remains in the rajagun and tamagun as we have explained then we shall be entangled in this material world we may get a different types of body even if we get the body of devi gods eh our european body american body as they are understood very advanced so not only european american but there are other improved condition of life in higher planetary system eh they are all made of rajogun rajastham eh tato rajastham bhava kamo lobha das because everywhere you will find the prominence of uh, greediness and lust everywhere even in the heavenly planet the king of heaven he is very very much lusty uh, there are so many instances he is very much fond of sex life indra uh, so this will not help us we must come to the platform of satogun goodness the brahminical stage uh, then our life our evolutionary process will be success tamasas rajas tasmat satang jat brahma darshan gradually evolutionary process uh, i think in darwin's theory there is no such conception of coming to the point of satogun goodness they do not know what it is satogun simply they are studying the animal uh, bones that's all uh, but actually perfection of evolutionary process 
is to come to the platform of Satogon, Brahminical stage. Uh, in other words, to become a Brahmana is the topmost uh, platform of advancement of civilization. Brahminical culture is the perfect uh, hmm, advancement of civilization. That is man's idea. So if one wants to come to that platform, uh, then one has to accept the form of Vishnu, as we have already explained in the previous verse. Sriyangshi tatra khalu satyatano ninangasu. Satyatano. Vishnu is the uh, form of Satogon. Brahma is the form of Rajagon. And Shiva, Lord Shiva, is the form of Tamagon. So he actually, if we want our perfection of life, we will not be very much benefited by taking shelter of Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma or any other demigods. Other demigods, they are all subordinate to Lord Brahma and Shiva. Hmm. All demigods are supposed, even great saintly uh, uh, rishis, uh, they are also sons of Brahma, Rajagon. Lord Shiva is also one of the sons of Brahma. So, either to accept uh, other demigods or even Lord Shiva, or Lord Brahma will not help us because we have to come to the platform of Satogon. Uh, for that purpose, Satyatano. Satyatano means Vishnu. Uh, so we have to take shelter of Vishnu. In the Vedas, in the Rig Ved, it is said, <coughs> Tat Vishnu Paramam Padam Sadapasanti Sura. <laughs> Vishnu Paramampad. Suraya, those who are advanced in civilization, uh, Suraya, Sura and Osura. Osura means materialistic person, atheistic person, interested in sense gratification, that is called Osura. Uh, no Sura. And Sura means interested in advancement of spiritual life. That is called Sura. Uh, so, for the Asuras, the life is different. But for the Suras, their aim is uh, Vishnu Paramam Padam. Their aim of perfection is Vishnu uh, Paramam Padam. The supreme abode of Vishnu or the Vaikuntha Loka. So those who are actually advanced in civilization, those who are in the platform of goodness, their aim is how to go back to home, back to God. That is their business. Uh, it is not that to take to religious life or some material gain. Uh, dharma shahi apabargas. No, artha artha upakalpate. We have discussed this verses. To become religious means to become free from material entanglement. Not that to, to take to religious life means to, uh, I will mean, say, to develop. Uh, uh, economic condition. Uh, uh, generally, people take to religious to make economic development very easily. Therefore, at the modern age, the educated public, they are not interested in religious life because they think that in primitive state, the people were 
taking to religious life for economic development. Actually, that is the idea because ordinarily people go to ask for bread in the church. Oh God, give us our daily bread. So modern advance in science people, they think, hey, what is the use of asking bread in the church? Why not take to industry? That is there. In India, especially, this is the situation. The government is thinking that Indian people, being too much religiously inclined, they have fallen down economically. Therefore, this religious sentiment should be stopped completely. It is not encouraged. Uh, here in Vrindavan, so many uh, pilgrims, they come from all parts of India, now all parts of the world, they are coming. But it is kept in such unclean state to discourage people not to come here. That is the idea. Uh, so that people, educated people, modernized people may not come here. They do not want. Uh, that is the policy I am seeing. Uh, they are introducing in the Vrindavan area so many industrial things so that the spiritual atmosphere uh, is to be killed. That is the policy is going on. Nobody, the, cha I mean, the temples are neglected. No question of improvement. The whole idea is not to come here. Please do not come. They cannot say directly, but this is the idea going on. Uh, but uh, this is due to wrong direction of civilization. They do not know what is the aim of civilization. The aim of civilization is to understand Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, but they are missing the point. They are thinking uh, uh, motor tire civilization, uh, very nice road and running motor car in 70-80 miles street, that is civilization. Uh, not to understand Vishnu. That is the difference between materialism and spiritual. But we should not be misled by such conception of civilization. Our aim is different, and that is right different. I am spirit soul, you are spirit soul. Somehow or other, I have been entangled with this material body, one after another. So, I must get out of this entanglement and go back to home, back to Godhead, to be snow, and live there eternally blissful life of knowledge. That is our aim. The materialistic person, they think these are all utopian thinking, conception, because they have no brain. They are no better than animals, polished animals, that's all. They cannot understand. In the tamogo, eh, tamasa, tamasustu, tama and rajo, these two uh, qualities, material qualities are there. Uh, 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 what is that in the Bhagavad Gita there is verse, Karanam gunasanga asa sadasad janma jonishu. Karanam, why one is born in low grade body, why one is born in high grade body. Uh, the, what is the reason? The reason is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Karanang. Karanang means reason. Karanang asa sangha. Uh, Karanang uh, guna sangha asya. Because he is associating with some, uh, uh, one of the three modes of material nature. Some, one is associating with Satogon. One is associating with Tamagon, one is associating with Rajogon. 
So this is the reason. This is the reason that one is getting low grade form of body or high grade form of body. Karanam guna sangha asa sad asad janma janish. In another place it is also clearly state, stated janti deva brata deva pitrin janti pitrin brata. So karanam guna sangha asa. Therefore, uh, the first class civilization is that which associates with the modes of goodness. That is means Brahminical uh, civilization. Uh, truthful, Satta, Sama, Dhamma, Titikya, Harjava, uh, Gyanam, Vijnanam, Astikam, Brahma, Karma, uh, This is first class civilization. People must be truthful. Uh, they must be equiposed, not disturbed, not being disturbed by different situations. Uh, they must learn how to control the senses. They must learn how to control the mind. Uh, they must be tolerant. Titikya. Uh, Arjava. They must be very simple, no duplicity. Uh, Arjava, Jnana, they must know everything in full knowledge. Vijnana, apply the knowledge in practical life. Asikam, they must believe in the Vedic injunctions. Asikha, that is called Asikha. The atheist and, uh, uh, and theist. The theist believe in the Vedic injunction. Veda is the Sadvayahamiva. That is theist. Not that I believe in God. They must believe in the injunction of the Vedas. What is said in the Vedas, one must believe. That is called theist. Uh, as you have given several times the example, the Vedas says the cow dung is pure. One who believes in that, he is Theist, and one who does not believe uh, in the words of the Vedas, they want to change, they want to misinterpret, interpolate. They are atheists. Bhagavad Gita, anyone misinterpreting, uh, giving wrong interpretation, or according to his concocted interpretation, they are atheists. Theist, he will believe all the words of Bhagavad Gita as it is. Uh, as Arjuna believed. Sarvam etam ritangamanne jadavadasi kish. My dear Krishna, whatever you are speaking, without any malinterpretation, without any change of word, I believe in it. This is theist understand. Uh, not like uh, the so-called rascal scholars. It is not like this. It is not like that. I think it is like this. These are all rascal. Uh, so, uh, this is the process of civilization. Krishna consciousness means perfect civilization. Perfect advancement of civilization according to the direction of the Vedas. Uh, we do not concoct anything, any meaning. Just tell you why you are reading this Srimad Bhagavat. This is the beginning of understanding Srimad Bhagavata. The professional leaders, they immediately jump to the Ras Leela of Krishna. Uh, they think that Bhagavata means that Ras Leela of Krishna, because it appears like ordinary boys and girls. So they like it. No. This is the foundation of Bhagavata. Uh, the nine cantos must be thoroughly read. Then one can understand what is Ras Lila and what is Krishna. If one jumps at once to the platform of understanding Krishna's Ras Lila or Vrindavan Lila, he will be misled. Uh, he will be misled. That's like so many rascals are interpreting Krishna in so many different ways. Uh, they are thinking Krishna as ordinary human being. So, when he acts like ordinary human being, 
दे टेक हिम एज ऑर्डिनरी ह्यूमन बींग अब जानन ती मांग मूढ़ा मान से इम तो नहीं मार सूखा देर फॉर वन शुड नॉट जम्प वन शुड लर्न भागवत श्रीमद भागवत हम एज रिकमेंडेड बाई चैतन्य महापुरुष सेक्रेटरी स्वरूप दामोदर भागवत गिया पौरो भागवत स्थान वन हु इज प्रैक्टिकल भागवत वन हु नोज वट इज भागवत वट इज भगवान नॉट फ्रॉम द प्रोफेशनल रिसाइटर्स हु आर रीडिंग भागवत फॉर बेली से नाउ दे आर रीडिंग भागवत हम एंड इफ दे गेट मोर मनी दे कैन बिकम ए स्वीपर Uh, because their consideration in money, uh, they will give up immediately. Reading of Bhagavatam. But my Guru Maharaj used to say that it is better to become a sweeper and honestly earn one's livelihood than to become a false Bhagavat reader for uh, earning livelihood. Yes. Because they will mislead the whole public. Uh, nobody will improve. And actually, you have said that so many people that are very much accustomed to attend the Bhagavat Saptaha, but they remain in the same uh, darkness as they were. No improvement. That is not possible. Hmm. So, therefore, Basdev has taken so much trouble. to establish the bhagavat life in 12 cantos one has to go uh, one after another one after another one after another not jumping dasam skanda the 10th canto is the face of krishna so worshiping krishna means one should offer tulasi on the on his lotus feet first of all not jump over to see to the mouth or to the face uh, the first time can draw at the two lotus feet of krishna one should begin worshiping bhagavatam or the sound representation of krishna by worshiping the first canto and second canto uh, we are reading the first canto we are just worshiping one uh, lotus feet of krishna then the other then the thighs gradually we have to rise to the face the 10th canto is the face of krishna don't jump over immediate hmm? read it but try to understand from the very beginning uh so our aim of life should be to come to the platform of satogon goodness otherwise it is not pass uh, a, 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 a a person that is max mula in the uh, depth of rajogon and tagogon what he can write about vedas and what he can understand bhagavat this is all nonsense they are going to the translation of max mula what he will understand bhagavat and veda He is in the Rajagun and Tamag. Uh, uh, therefore, it is forbidden that without becoming a Brahmin, nobody should should read the Vedic literature. It is forbidden. Uh, that I have already said several times. So without being a graduate, nobody should enter the law college. Similarly. Vedas, they are meant for Brahmanas, not for the Sudras, not for the Chhatriya. Uh, Chhatriya also, uh, they they are, but under the instruction of the Brahmanas. Uh, so this is perfect civilization. One must know his own business. Uh, everyone should not attempt to understand Vedic literature. Uh, remaining himself in the rajan stham guna kaam loha da astri there are many so called sannyasis uh, who went to your country he was in fully in rajan tava guna he wanted to uh, preach vedanta therefore it was failure uh, nobody can do so so uh, it is very clearly stated
tamasastu rajas tasma satyam jad brahmadas no one must come to the platform of satoko uh, therefore we have got so many restrictions just to keep him fit in the satoko no meat eating no illicit sex no intoxication no gambling if one indulges in these affairs he cannot come to the platform of satoko neither the uh, things will be revealed to him uh, he will remain in the darkness simply by uh, academic scholarship it is impossible to understand what is vedas what is bhagavat what is bhagavad gita thank you very much hari krishna